Here's how the story goes, right? Christmas morning in prison in the United States Penitentiary with a guitar. Hi guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I'm so proud of us. This is our second one in a row. Today, we're gonna get a little bit more juicy. This is a follow-up. Our first video, we did our favorite Christmas memories from when Adam was outside of prison. And today, we're gonna do our favorite Christmas memories from when Adam was inside of prison. So, do you wanna start? How about you start this time? I start, okay, I know the story you're gonna tell. So, do you? I think that's my favorite, but I'm gonna do my second favorite. Okay. Because I'm almost positive the story you're gonna tell. And for my OGs, let me know, let us know in the comments if you know Adam's favorite Christmas story, because you've told it on video before. Have but I? from inside of prison, we have so many new subscribers and it's gonna be very different now that you're telling it in person. But if you guys know it, let us know in the comments if you knew before he told it. My favorite Christmas or second favorite Christmas memory from when you were inside was, I got this little Santa outfit. I had like these panties and like this little oh, flowy yeah. shirt and I did a whole photo shoot in my room. <laughs> I remember the one. Except, stop me if you don't want me to tell us part, but <laughs> this is way before I had cameras and technology stuff or even YouTube and I didn't have a timer on my cell phone. I was taking these pictures with my computer. I saved up all my money and I bought myself a Mac. Actually, I was paying for it for like three or four years monthly because this computer was like my whole life savings at that point. And I was taking the pictures on my laptop so I needed my arm to take the pictures because at that point you couldn't set a timer. Mm. So in all of the pictures, I had to crop them that I only had one arm. Really? Yeah. How did I never come? Well, I was so easily distracted by the pictures themselves. Probably, but, <laughs> but. I didn't even notice that you were missing an arm. But. <laughs> no. <laughs> as funny as that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't tell that part of the story, but no, <laughs> I don't even know where to go from here. <laughs> okay, so personal joke aside, personal joke, inside joke, what's that called? Inside joke. I always hated that line too, because I felt like you wanted to be on the inside and you're on the outside. Mm -hmm. You weren't included. Anyway, so I don't know, I might still have some of those pictures somewhere. Oh, they're probably way on my old Mac in New Jersey that's like dead, but I was gonna say I would post some, but I can't. Anyway, I wouldn't want to. What am I thinking? I don't know. I don't know either. Do you really want to post those pictures? I mean, it did look good. You did. Do you really want me to post those pictures? That's entirely up to you. <laughs> okay, so what's your favorite memory of Christmas on the inside? My favorite memory? Well, first, let me ask because you seem pretty sure that you knew what it was. I do. What is it? Ah. That wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's all, it's all attached to that Christmas. Okay. This is a good story. It's a great story. Um. <laughs> was that what you were going to say, though? Yeah. My nose is running. I mean, like, so my Wait, favorite. Wait, one second. Okay, go. Good. <laughs> good. My favorite Christmas on the inside was actually from the first Christmas that we were together. Mm-hmm. I really had to get creative. It was at a time where I was very fortunate. I was still in a penitentiary. Things were a little bit different there. That's a, a, a very different environment than where I spent the final 10 years of my sentence. But uh, I had some good people around me at that time. And part of that Christmas was, there was two things that I did. The night before on Christmas Eve, I took the time I had bought a bunch of giant Hershey candy bars on the commissary. You did? I did. You? Yeah, I bought a bunch of giant Hershey candy bars and I had gotten a red ribbon from somewhere, who knows? I mean, like not something you could easily get. And I wrapped the candy bars with a ribbon and it was all the guys that were, that I was closest to in there. It was a, a small Christmas gift that I was able to give uh, each of those guys, they were all right there on the unit with me. Question. What? 
what's changed since then? Because you won't even give Halloween candy out, but you'll give candy bars out. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Listen, I was still eating giant Hershey bars out of a tub of peanut butter. That's Why am I making that story. face? That sounds like the most delicious thing I've ever it heard. It was. Oh, it was absolutely oh, so good. But anyways, yeah, not to digress. So I had these Hershey bars. I wound up giving those out along with like a little card, a little note card that I had written to each of these guys. I had so much to be grateful for that year, despite the fact that I was still in a pen, still serving a 213 year sentence, crazy sentence. I had her in my life, I had my family, and I had some good men who were around me supporting me. So I did that Christmas Eve, and before, <laughs> Before we locked in, I grabbed two of those individuals, guys that I had given those bars and cards to, and I let them know first thing in the morning, I was gonna need a little bit of help. And you know, like I said, they were, they were good men and they were eager to help me with whatever it was that I needed help with. They were like, yeah, whatever it is, we'll be there. So first thing in the morning, we get up, we go to breakfast, we come back and it's Christmas morning, it's really, really quiet. There's only a handful of men who are out on the tier, sitting in their chairs, they're having their coffee. And on the holidays, especially in those environments, like everybody, you know, is very respectful. Uh, people are generally kind of tense, you know, a lot of, um, people are missing their families. So mm -hmm. you gotta be kind of cautious of that. You don't know how people are gonna respond to, you know, that sort of stress. Mm -hmm. So we're, you know, cautiously moving around that morning and I come back up to my cell, which is all the way at the end of the, the housing unit, and I grab my guitar, right? Guitar in prison? Guitar. I had a guitar in my cell, part of a self-study acoustic guitar program, and I had been practicing uh, for my big, uh, first live event Christmas morning and it was all for one person. Any guesses? I had written her a song. <laughs> Listen, it was not the, uh, it might not have been the most well-written song, but I wrote the lyrics and the music, the notes. I mean, the whole, it's, it's your song. It's on so, YouTube. Is it? Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Last year for Valentine's Day, I went through all the top, my top favorite things that you sent me, mm. and that was in one of the boxes. And you posted it? Oh, and cool. I found it. I was like, no way! This is the song he was talking about at Christmas. And then I had to read the lyrics. So I will link that video wow. right up there for you guys. That was a wow. great video. That was one of my favorite videos to make ever. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was pretty cool. So. Here's how the story goes, right? Christmas morning in prison in the United States Penitentiary with a guitar. I go down to the telephones and remember I got two, two guys with me, two really, really good men who are willing to hold point, right? We always talk about the things that we do in prison, looking out for one another. And it's generally like to do the wrong thing when you're trying to steal something or get over some way. Get a tattoo get a tattoo, whatever you're trying to do, right? So I've got these two guys that are with me that are willing to hold down the phones, right? To give me cover so that I can, my big debut, my first live performance. So I go over to the phone. Remember, it's first thing, it's early. Guys are quiet. There's not really anything going on. People see me walk down with my guitar and they're like, and what is this dude up to? And they watch me go over the phone. Anyways, I got the phone. I call. I get her on the line. I'm literally shaking. I'm so nervous, right? And I still remember my, my fear of public speaking. This is years before I'd overcome that. So <laughs> I'm up on stage with all these people watching me. And I'm going to sing. So people were coming out and like lining the tears to watch this? There were, listen, not everyone was there, thankfully, 
but there was way too many people. Five like word people spread, way, way too many. word spread that this was happening. Once they heard me, once I start strumming away on the guitar and I start singing, right? Now people are coming out and they're looking. But set the stage for me, right? So you get up, your friends are taking you up to the phones and people are trickling out. What does this look like? like paint the picture. Well, the housing unit, the housing unit at that time, there's only one door in up at the front of the unit. You have to come through a metal detector. And as soon as you come through that, it opens up. The unit's very wide. Picture the, the width of a normal street. Okay. Probably twice that. Okay. And so it's very wide in the middle and there's cells on both sides. Now it starts out wide and it gets a little bit more narrow towards the back. There's a top tier and a bottom tier, but on that top tier, there's just a very narrow range, a walkway that goes all the way around. So this center that's all wide open, that's where individuals have their chairs. There are TVs on the rails of the walkway that goes around the top. There are TVs mounted. So everyone is sitting down here looking up at the TVs and you have to have headphones on because the TVs broadcast only on FM frequencies. Hmm. So you have to tune your radio to whatever the TV is, like say 97.5 is TV number one. TV number two is 98.5. So whatever you wanna watch, you focus on that. And then you turn in and you listen. So people are always down there looking around and you get very accustomed to, especially, I mean, it's, uh, it's a penitentiary, so people are on heightened alert. You don't generally get lost in a, in a TV show. You're always with one headphone off, paying attention to what's going on. So when somebody comes strolling by with a guitar and two guys around him. At like seven or eight in the morning. Yeah, immediately everyone's on point. Like, what are they doing? So yeah, at, at that point it was, it was all over. But uh, listen, there's the one that's next to me and he's like, come on, man, just go, just go. Aww. Giving me encouragement. Everybody needs a yes. in their life. Yes. I struggled through it. I made it all the way through. <sighs> Breathed a sigh of relief. I grabbed the phone. I'm like, so what'd you think? I'm excited. And she goes, I didn't hear a word. I said, oh my God. I didn't. I Nothing. couldn't hear anything. Not the guitar. Oh. Not your voice. Nothing. Well, you know what it is? The phones are synced up to hear your voice to record. And ideally, if they don't hear anything, it closes out because it's so loud in prison, right? It's like it's on mute. It mutes exactly. You. It almost mutes it so that you can hear better. I was too far away from the phone. So I said, all right. And I'm debating. I'm like, am I going to do this again? And I look at my partner who's right here and he's looking at me going, what, what happened? I go, she didn't hear it. He's like, do it again. <laughs> and now all these people that are sitting around, they're like, do it again. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So I did it again. That's amazing, but I feel so bad for you. You, you want to know the crazy thing, and I don't know if you know this, I had never done it. I've spent all this time, remember, in my prison cell, my leg crossed, my, my guitar up on my leg, practicing, playing and singing. We get down there. Now the phone's a little bit higher. I'm standing. I've never played standing before. You don't have a strap, did you? I don't have a strap. No, there's no strap. So it's, it's a whole different, you know, feel. I'm already, you know, completely out of my element. So I get through it a second time and I'm like, please. Did you hear it that time? She's like, some of it <laughs> and i'm like oh god i was like all right well that's good that's great at least you got some of it and you got the rest in the mail which i showed in a video she got the word. that was by far despite you know all the anxiety all the time the practice that you know it's because of all the time that went into it like for me that was the first time i ever did something like that, that I ever created something for someone else. Not even talking about the performance part, like that. We're gonna get back to that in a second, but do you wanna know a secret that I don't think I ever told you before, but I uh -oh. think I might have told you the last time you told this story. I can't remember. 
What's that? So back then, when you lived there, I had an inside scoop. You know what was gonna happen? No. But after the fact, I was told that they were taunting you. There were certain people that were taunting you like, oh, you just wrote a poem. Unless you sing and perform it, then it's not a poem. <laughs> then it's, it's not a song, it's a poem. And so they were purposely working you up to do this so that, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was set you, to set you up to embarrass you. I don't know if it was, I don't know if that's how word got out so fast, but that's the 411 I got after the fact. Well, regardless, whatever the intention was, it worked, right? I still got the girl, right? So it's the happy ending. And it was definitely, that was my favorite Christmas on the inside. And I have some other great holiday memories, but that, for me, that was, that was big. Like, it really stretched me outside of my comfort zone, and, uh, you know, it was the start of our relationship. I love that. That was... That was my favorite Christmas of you inside as well. I just didn't want to steal the story. Everybody in the moment, after you know the first time I sang it all the way through, when they knew that you didn't hear and I started saying, man, sing it again, sing it again. Other people were like, yeah, man, sing it again, sing it again. And I'm like, oh. Then you can't not. Gotta do it. And I'm glad I did. Me too. Twice. Yes. So, I think that's it for our favorite memories. That's it. Christmas while Adam was inside of prison. We're dressed like this a mess because we're about to start decorating the house for Christmas, which we are going to vlog for you guys. So on that note, do you have anything else? I do not. We are still running the contest for the five love languages giveaway. If you do not want to know what we're talking about, go to our Vlogmas Day 1 video, which is called our Best Christmas Memories, I think. You'll see it's the one right before this. And watch the beginning. All of the information and the rules and all that stuff is in there. I think that's it. We love you guys, and we will see you in the next one. See you in the next one.